Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. Randy, crazy new good things here at Kitchen Needs. I can't believe the stuff you brought in. Yeah, we've been out uh, shopping. We've been to Atlanta. We've been to Chicago looking for new things to bring to Love to Cook at Kitchen Needs. Uh, one of the things we brought in uh, was this Louisiana Grill pellet smoker and grill. Um, this thing is uh, will do long smoking, overnight smoking for your heavy briskets or pig, whatever you want to do. Um, it'll also function as a regular grill. It's a wood-fired grill. It'll go up to about 600 degrees. You could do a wood-fired pizza in there if you want. Um, so it's a very versatile machine. It's not just a smoker and it's not just a grill, but it's actually the best of both worlds. Well, I have been inside and outside and you have got to watch this entire segment because it is amazing the stuff you've gotten here. Now, Kitchen Needs has always carried everything you could possibly need for your kitchen, and now we're talking even some outdoor things as well. Yep, this will work great out on your patio. Uh, you could uh, do it all year long. It's uh, sealed up real good. You can cook through the winter if you want to. I've also got uh, some stovetop smokers. If you don't want to cook outside, I'll show you those inside too. Well, sometimes we're intimidated by the smoker. And yeah. so tell me, is this easy to use? I Super. noticed some pellets down there. Yep, these are fired with wood pellets. Uh, there's no additives to this. You're cooking over real wood. Um, what you do is you take these pellets and you fill up this hopper here uh, with the wood pellets and uh, they're a compressed wood there's nothing in there other than wood and they come in a lot of different hardwoods mesquite alder to offer uh, those flavors all the different flavors you can think of now um, I'm noticing a power button so is this on electric it is electric okay. it's got um, electric is what starts the smoke so mm -hmm. all you do is you turn the power button on you hit start it warms up in about 15 minutes up to 500 degrees if you're going to smoke. Uh, you can see it's boiling out smoke. It actually has an auger that feeds those pellets into a firebox inside. So I don't have to worry about coming out and feeding it. It's automatic. It's automatic. It'll go all day long uh, doing its thing. It'll go come up in smoke intensity. It'll drop down. Maintains a very even temperature. Well, I was going to say, on top you have a temperature gauge so you can keep track of that. And then also you've connected your own internal meat temperature gauge so you know where your meat is at. This is actually a really cool device. This little uh, thermometer is reading the temperature of the grill and the temperature of the meat. Oh, cool. So when smoke, when, when you're smoking, it's real crucial that you, you know what temperature you're going to smoke at. This allows you to actually read the temperature of the grill. It's got two probes. I'm watching it go, changing, and I was noticing at the top of the grill they're comparable, so yeah, that's it's accurate. Comparable. This is an accurate gauge. Um, so we've got a probe that you mount to the grill. You can put it anywhere in the grill so you can see what your temperature your oh, smoker's yes. at. And then it's got an external one that you can plug into your meat. We've got a brisket going up top, and I've had uh, some sirloin steak smoking on the bottom for about an hour. We're going to go ahead and pull those steaks off and uh, finish them on a Himalayan rock salt stone. This is what you have and, uh, to see, I'm dying over. We're going to sear it off in there. Um, you could allow these to finish here and they'd be just fine, but we're going to add one more layer of flavor and a little more pizzazz to the steak. Okay, as you're pulling those off, let me ask one other question. Does this come with some recipes inside with a, a book? Yes, it's got a great recipe book. It teaches you about smoking. If you've never smoked, all you got to do is read the book. It's got great online okay. line stuff. Uh, the thing that's nice also that with this smoker over many of the other pellet-fed smokers is the auger inside, and the people that are smokers will know this, uh, is about twice the size of the regular auger. It keeps them from jamming. Mm -hmm. It feeds into a firebox at the end, not out in the middle, so you don't have a long auger running to the middle, and uh, you'll get a more even temperature. It's it's actually blowing and circulating like a convection oven. It's got a blower on it, so it's making an even smoke and an even temperature. Um, so you it, really have your oven, your grill, your smoker all in one. Yep, and you can even fire grill on this. It's got a slide underneath the grate. You open up that, you turn the heat up, and you will actually be able to sear your steaks off over open wood fire. And after you see this salt thing, can I put that salt piece out here? And yes, do that you can cook with fire? the salt right on an open fire, on the grill, um, in the oven, on the stove top. <laughs> I just envy you and it, your job. It's, it's fun <laughs> stuff. That's why we're here. We okay. have a lot of fun with us. I'm going to pull the steaks thoughts. off. And uh, we'll head inside and I'll show you those Himalayan rock salts. Excellent. So you brought these beautiful steaks that have been smoking for an hour and you're going to lay them on this incredible, this is what I'm so excited about, tell me. Yep, this is a Himalayan rock salt stone. Uh, they come from the Himalayan mountains, they're cut uh, there and shipped to us. You can get them in several sizes, we've got a, this is the larger size that I've got here and there's one that's about a third smaller. Um, and then uh, all you do is you heat them up and I like to start them in the oven, a cold oven. You have to start in cold, let it come up like a pizza stone, you never want to temperature shock them and go from cold to say a 500 degree oven or you will blow them up. Okay. If you are even this much of a foodie, 
fan like I am, you have got to get one of these stones. Yeah. Randy, I'm so excited. You tell me. You can, oh, in fact, show me. You're yep. just going to place So what we're going to do is we brought the steaks in off the smoker. I'm going to spray them with just a little bit of, little bit of olive oil on there. No, nope, not going to spray them. You got to pump it. Oh, that's one of those cool pumpers. Yeah. So you just pump up that little sprayer. And then there you go. I like that when you're doing your salad because yeah. you don't get overwhelmed you don't, with You don't oil. get overwhelmed, and we've got multiples of those here, so uh, they are really handy. So all I'm going to do is just transfer these steaks onto this stone and sear them off. So we've kind of gone in reverse. We've cooked them 80% on the grill, on the smoker. So we're just going to go ahead and sear these off here instead of searing them first. We've let that smoke sink into the meat while they're mm -hmm. cold, and then we're going to sear them now. And I noticed when you brought it off, the temperature of the meat, like you say, is already at that meat or rare. So yeah. you're going to just rare. sear it and it have it to, to a medium. Yeah, about a medium, yeah. medium, medium rare. Perfect. And, uh, while we're in here cooking, I can keep an eye on, I've still got that... Uh, uh, roast out there on the the brisket out on the smoker and that uh, remote that I sh had outside actually can go into your house so it's got one piece out there that's reading the temperatures and sending this inside so you can be sitting there watching TV you're playing a game with the kids and yep. there you go you know when it's time to yep. go out love that so the other thing I really like to do on these salt stones is asparagus mushrooms um, you know shrimp scallops anything you put on there it is gonna season them and uh, tenderize just due to the fact that you're cooking on salt. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of asparagus and a few mushrooms on there. Now the sizzle as you put that down there is fun to hear. You can hear that, but you said seasoning because the salt is seasoning and then maybe do you add some pepper or anything else? You could pepper them a little bit if you want to. So I found, intense? yeah, I, I, I found I like the asparagus with nothing other than just the olive oil and the, oh. the flavoring from the stone. I cannot wait to try this this week. I'm going to get some today before I go. And when you're talking about about the rock salt if you don't have the stone and want to just try this Himalayan salt you've got it right yep. here that I can sprinkle it on and see the taste difference. Yes yep you can just buy that and use it like table salt and you'll notice it's got a, a milder flavor but it, it actually has it adds flavor it's not just salt. Exactly it's a flavor enhancer to yep. your food instead of just a false salt. I love yep. that okay so pick this up while you're here as well so Time frame. You're uh, just going to get it to temperature. Go five minutes or so, and I, we can we can check these with. Uh, this is another new item we've brought in. Uh, it's a thermal works uh, thermometer. It updates every three seconds, and you only have to insert the tip up to about an eighth of an inch. So most of them you have to go in a lot deeper. This guy you can just barely tuck in there, and you know this is reading about 106 on there. Um, so they're going to need 10, 10 minutes or so, and we'll hey, give them about five fantastic. aside and let them come up to temp. Now we're talking what's new at Kitchen Needs, love to cook at Kitchen Needs, because you have brought in a lot of new products. We have. Um, smoking outside is great. The big smokers and grills are the way to go. Uh, you can do a lot of meat in a hurry, um, and you can also have a grill. If you don't have a smoker and you still want to get play with some smoking, we've got a way to do that too on, on a stove top, and I can show you that real quick while those are searing. That's what's right here to the side of the stones. So even if I lived in a small apartment complex and didn't have the ability to have a grill, yeah. I can still be you know, smoking. You've got a, just a little, you know, a, an over your hood vent. It, it, they do put out just a little bit of smoke, but very little. Okay. Um, what these are is a stove top smoker. And to, to load one of these are real easy. I'm going to show him what that looks like inside. So you have a so grate there to hide this. And a drip pan. And you pull that right out. I'm just going to stack that over here for a minute. And there's a lot of different flavors for this too. These, don't, these take a different uh, smoke chip. So you put about two tablespoons. You'll need to lay that down so it'll sit in the middle. And we'll put two tablespoons in the center of here. And that goes below the drip that pan. goes below the drip pan and then you just load your drip pan on top of there with your rack. Um, today we're going to do a piece of chicken in there and a piece of salmon and then some bacon wrapped scallops. Now you're starting this on the smoker and with the bacon we're probably not going to complete it in there but you could complete... It, it will complete it. It's going to cook it all the way through on here. In about an hour you'll have smoked and cooked food. You don't need to turn it or anything. And with the bacon, we want to crisp it up yeah, a little bit. we want to crisp it up if you're going to eat it. A lot of people don't eat the bacon. It's just really flavoring those scallops. Um, a lot of times I'll take and transfer those over to the salt stone. I want to eat the bacon, up. yeah. That's so, okay, and crisp great. them up. So all you do is you put that on about a medium heat. And you and left it in a little pool. You left that. Yep, instead you leave of it right in the center. Okay. And um, what you do is you put your lid back on, and but you don't close it until you see little wisps of smoke coming out of there. And that'll take, you know, it may take five minutes or so 
uh, for that to come up to temperature and start smoking. So See, I would have thought just opposite, maybe intensifying the heat by closing it, but you leave. Yeah, you want it. You want it just so you can see when it starts smoking, maybe and the then oxygen yeah, comes it, it does. It gets that wood burning, and then uh, you can control your temperature. You can turn it down a little if you want below medium. Usually, you can just finish them off on medium. My stomach is growling. I want to eat this food. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, smoker right inside your house, right in your kitchen, yeah. and the meat. Your, your Himalayan rock salt, and we just kind of roll that asparagus around. I like to flip those mushrooms over, and you can see those are dang near done already. I know, a matter of seconds, minutes. But while you're doing that, you have what looks like eggs of yeah. rock salt. There's eggs of rock salt, and what those are is a turkey egg and a chicken egg. Uh -huh. And you preheat those eggs in your oven. Uh, you can heat them up to 350, 400, whatever you're going to cook your bird at. You then take it out with the mitt, place it in the cavity of the bird, and it will cut your cooking time in half. It'll tenderize the bird and flavor the bird as it cooks. So, you know, it, it takes a, a turkey from taking, you know, five or six hours down to, you know, two or three. Oh, so this is fantastic. And it's seasoning while it's, it's doing that. And tenderizing. And you don't throw it away when you're done. You nope. reuse it. You can just reuse it. These will shrink a little each time you use them. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you'll, you know, the turkey egg, I'm sure you can get at least a half a dozen out of it, maybe more, and then it'll turn into a chicken egg. Oh, isn't that, <laughs> but, isn't that so uh, great? <laughs> you don't have to clean them. You don't have to worry about bacteria. It cannot live on the salt. Uh, the salt is an antibacterial, and uh, so it'll, you're safe. You, all you do to clean this stuff is just scrape it off with a wire brush and while put them hot. away while it's hot okay. and put them away. So well, we'll let's talk leave this loaded yeah. up, and we'll show you what that looks like in a few minutes. Kitchen store with so much more. Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. Evolution design, quality set in stone. The last time I bought a car, it felt like... It felt like... Oh! Yeah, it felt like that. Want to have a good experience buying a vehicle? At Hanson Motors, we've been taking care of customers for over 60 years. One of the hot five reasons to buy a Hanson is a hassle-free, haggle-free buying experience. For the best price on a new or pre-owned vehicle, and most of all, an enjoyable buying experience, get to Hanson Motors in Brigham City. Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. So many yummy things always going on here at Kitchen Needs. You have an incredible store with incredible items like your Himalayan rock salt slab. Yep, it's very good. We've finished up the steaks. We've seared them off. Uh, we'll check them for temperature and see where we're standing. Um, Perfect, 135. These, yeah, Perfect. They're, ready to, yeah. they're ready to pull, and we're going to let those rest for a few minutes. You don't want to cut into them too, too quick. Right, well, I am going to have you cut into them while I'm still here oh, because yeah. those look amazing. But can I try you up here in front? Any of that, you can try, and it's real hot. Real so, hot. So, yeah, but that's those a mushroom. Are yeah, the 450. Yeah, about 450. The mushrooms and the asparagus. There's. Um, mm, Randy, I can taste that salt. Yeah. Just enough. It's not yep. like overpowering. It doesn't it, overpower. It's not I can a strong taste the salt. Mushroom. Yep. And Try the asparagus. If you like asparagus, I found this I is love the asparagus. best asparagus way to cook asparagus I've had. And it uh, is tender. It is amazing. Nothing on it but the salt stone. I'm buying two stones today. Good. You know I've got to walk out <laughs> with them. This awesome. is just that's unbelievable. It, Hopefully everybody else will want some too. So, um, smokers. smokers. This smoker is the one we set up and as you can see it's uh, it's gone into smoking. The meats are already starting to cook. It's We've beautiful. got the salmon, the scallops, and the chicken. So we're just going to go ahead and close that up. And Indoor, outdoor smoking grill yep. things. But we've also got juicers and we want to talk about that while your steak is Yep. Ready. Will you hand me that tin foil right there? I'm going to tent these steaks so they don't cool off too quick. And then we'll uh, show you some new uh, juicers that we've got. So this is the Haram Slow Juicer. They're a little bit different than your high-speed juicers in the fact that it's more of a cold press. It's not a high-speed centrifugal juicer. As we put the stuff into it, it actually has inside of it is an auger and this auger cuts the pieces and presses it through these tiny little screen holes. Um, we've got two designs here. We've got uh, 
This one does juice only, mm -hmm. and this one over here will do juice and frozen fruits. So it just depends on which way, you know, what you want to use. Well, that's nice to have that one because then in the winter when you're not gleaning your fresh fruits and stuff or at the grocery store, you can have a freezer full and yep. throw them right in. Is that the problem? Throw purpose? them right in and you'll have a frozen smoothie. Okay. So, what? got to get this one to drop. I remember seeing a segment that we did a while back and I said I'm going to buy one and I didn't buy one because I hesitated wondering how much will I use it. I've kind of regretted not getting it but there's always the opportunity. There's, there's an upgrade to it now where you can do frozen smoothies. The thing that's nice about this you can also do peanut butters, almond butters okay. and you can't do that in a regular type of a, exactly. a juice or a high speed. So all you do is you turn it on. We're going to just go ahead and do some apple. And notice the skin is still on those yeah. and you've got the great grapefruit grape being the uh, pith yep. is there, but the skin is gone. Yep, oranges. hold the skin, the oranges, and you'll get more juice out of everything that you juice using the Haram Slow Juicer than you do out of a high-speed juicer. It, that's one of the benefits to it. And the thing that caught my um, attention, made me think differently, was it's called a slow juicer, but there's nothing slow about it. No, it actually is. If you go side by side, you'll actually juice faster with this juicer and get more juice out of everything that you do juice. So, so it's referring to what then? Just yeah, gleaning high more? Speed, you're getting, yeah, it presses, you get more out, your pulp is drier, so when it comes out, it's not dripping wet. Um, right, yeah, so as it's, a matter of fact. And that's a fruit, and they're, they're not real, real wet. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, we'll put sure. a little more orange in there, a couple more grapefruits, and I found mm. I really like a little piece of lemon and a little piece of lime, well, and I it just, what that was. It, it brightens up the juice quite a bit. Now, I noticed a seed went in. That was okay? It's okay. It'll spit it out on the pulp side. Um, so you just uh, you come up with whatever you like, um, whatever you got sitting around. Get it. Oh, juice. this is going to be an expensive and, uh, visit. I'm going to buy it today. <laughs> Dang it! So, oh. <laughs> so this is what people are used to seeing is just regular type of juice. It will do wheat, grass, spinach, kales, all that. You can get juice out of that with can this I try also. This juice? Sure. Let's try it and see how that tastes because this is straight out, no sugar added. Nothing Think about my. I'm getting a whole plate full of veggies. I mean, yep. oh, pardon me, fruits. But you could add veggies as well. You can. Yep. You can do carrots, celery, kale, spinach. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. That is so good. It's hard to beat. Mm. Yeah, that lime and the lemon just makes that, oh brings gosh. it a pop to life, makes it bright. So good. I'm going to drink it all. Now, the difference here then, we're not going to demonstrate this one, or are yeah. we? I've got, um, we're set up. I'm going to grab the frozen banana. Mm -hmm. And you've got chocolate and yogurt, some peanut butters, and all kinds of things what here. What we're going to make is a frozen smoothie. This will do everything that machine will do. It'll do all your juices. This has got two screens. This is the, the juicing screen. It's got smaller holes in it. The uh, frozen screen has just got bigger holes. So I actually misunderstood. It's not using frozen fruits. It's actually going to turn anything yeah. into the frozen smoothie. Right. Oh. So you, you start with frozen fruit. Oh, you do. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this one we're gotcha. going okay. to do a sweet treat on this one. And it comes with a nice recipe book. This is right out of the Haram book. Um, we've got uh, some milk, yogurt, banana, uh, peanut butter, and we're going to sprinkle it with some mini chocolate chips. But as you know, you can throw together anything you want, Anything right? you Which want, you don't have to whatever you time. like. So um, we're going to add the milk first. Okay. And this one, you can close the spouts. That's what I, one thing I should show you is that you can control your pulp on this also. If you like a real pulpy juice or not, you can open and close this and close this spout. And that's what you want to do when you're making a frozen smoothie because it's going to actually mix it inside of the machine. So we're going to add uh, the yogurt and the milk first. So can I get pulpy out of this other one yes. as well? Yeah, it, it is uh, pulpy. It will give you a fairly pulpy juice if you like it. I want the um, pulp a little this bit. One, this one gives you more control over the pulp. It's about $50 more, I believe, um, to have the frozen capability and the pulp control. Okay. Um, so we've added the yogurt, the milk. I'm going to drop some peanut butter. Same company? Same machine. Just the only difference is that one screen, the extra screen, and being able to control oh, no. and close both there. of these spouts. Okay, interesting. And then we're going to finish it off with some frozen banana. And yeah, this is keeping it yeah, all within all, there. It's going to keep it's it in there. It's going to mix it. And you can do this with your juice, too, so you don't have to stir your juice. You just close them both. Mix your juice, let it spin for just a few minutes. Wasn't it Elvis that was the peanut butter banana guy? Peanut butter banana guy, yeah. And then you're going to do chocolate I'm just for fun. Just put some chocolate chips on top of the smoothie once it's done. And oh, we're. On top, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 
So we'll have a little bit of chocolate and peanut butter. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. So all you do is you open that up. Well, I'm the Reese's girl, so who doesn't love yeah. that? So here you go. Oh my. So this one, yeah. you might want a little spoon Food. for that one, and I'll grab you one. Okay. So try that. Yeah, this is just way fun. So really, to get to pay a little extra and get this capability yep. is going to be yeah, way too much do, fun. I'm going to have you hold the microphone. You can do baby food in this also if you just wanted to puree some, you know, cooked beets mm. and potatoes, that, that kind of stuff. Is there any cooling element in there? That's, There's not. That's why you start with the frozen. You start with frozen. And I would, I'd like to take this and transfer it to my ice cream maker and just let it spin for about 10 minutes and bring it down in temperature even more and you'd have the best fruit yogurt ice cream you could come up with don't know what he just said because i'm involved with that but that sounds amazing yep. come in here <laughs> they're all going to tell you about all of this stuff and let you try some things yeah too, we this keep this stuff your... yeah we keep this stuff to demo if you want to see it live ask us call ahead and we'll try to have some stuff prepped for you and you do these in your classes as well yes we do okay yep. i forgot the microphone fun. hope you could hear all that very fun a kitchen store with so much more Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. show here at Kitchen Needs Whirlwind, but you're the whirlwind that's causing all this to happen. It's amazing. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. We've been to a lot of shows. Uh, we're planning more. We travel all over the country to go find new innovative items to bring here to Cache Valley. We want to be unique. We want to make sure people have fresh stuff here all the time. You can get what you want. You see it on Iron Chef or the Food Channel. We ought to have it here. <laughs> So that's, right that's here at Love to Cook, this. Kitchen Needs. Okay, we started outside on your smoker, that incredible yep. Louisiana smoker grill. Yep, that thing's awesome, pellet-fed wood smoker. Uh, smoked the steaks for about an hour, hour and a half out there. Brought them in, finished them off, seared them off on the stone. Uh, we've got them in here. We'll cut them up and plate them. Uh, inside, we did stovetop smoking. So we've got our salmon, our scallops, and our chicken that we did earlier. Which uh, I was totally impressed that you started from raw right into here and it cooked at correct temperature. Yep, perfect. You can control the heat with your stovetop. Um, so let's go ahead and plate this stuff yes. up. Hand so me that and I'll even hold that for you while you lift those up. So there's a the salmon. That's the perfectly cooked salmon. We've got our bacon wrapped scallops. I usually peel the bacon off. I, I don't crisp it up. So I even I, tasted that though. <laughs> it's not bad. Break. It's really good because that yeah, smoking it's flavor. Double, it's double smoked bacon. Yeah. It's awesome. I love that. That on itself is worth doing. Well, and I wouldn't have guessed that I could have gotten the real flavor, intense smoke flavor from my little home. Yeah, you can get a nice smoke out of these stovetop smokers. Um, you know, you wouldn't do a 12-hour smoke, but right. your your lighter foods, your chicken, I have smoked steak in these, and it works just fine. I think anything that needs an hour or less of smoke to get the flavor in is great on the stovetop. And then let's show one of the steaks that you've got here as well. They yep. turned out beautifully, yep. and I love what the smoke the stone. does to the color of the Yeah, meat. it leaves it nice and red. It's intense red. Um, we'll go ahead and just slice a few pieces of and that we'll up. put this over here where you can see because I know it's hiding behind this Himalayan rock salt slab. I know that's not the correct name. What's the total name? Uh, they're a Himalayan rock salt oh. slab. <laughs> I got exactly. it. Okay. And that's what's over here on the stove and I see that it's black. We've been using that. It's a big solid chunk of salt. When you buy it, it's got that pink, but obviously when you use it, but I don't have to worry about bacteria. No bacteria. We did a, asparagus on those oh, salt okay. stones, so we're going to put that with our steak and mushrooms. Which during the breaks, and you have no that. idea what we've been So doing. we've got a nicely cooked steak, nice smoke flavor and we're gonna have scallops surf and turf right there surf and turf 
Then you've had the incredible juicer that I dyed over that grapefruit orange apple. Yeah, lime and lemon mix. Yep, you put a little lime in there to brighten it up, a little lemon, and it just brings those uh, fruits to life. And uh, you can do either a frozen smoothie. We've got two machines, one that's capable of doing frozen foods as well as just juicing. And then your beautiful coffee, espresso bar right here. Yep, we've got our espresso, we've got single serve coffee, uh, carafts, we've got cup warmers, we've got milk frothers. Um, you can set up your own espresso bar at home. You don't got to go spend six, seven dollars a cup and you'll like it better once you learn how to make it and it's always more fun to enjoy what you make. You know, it's amazing here. Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. You have all of these new items. You have a store full of the regular items that we love you for, for bringing in for us. But thanks for keeping up with the times and bringing and new and different. Yep, you're welcome, and uh, I have as much fun with it as the customers. Maybe more, maybe more than I should, but uh, it's great. I love it. Never more than you should. Well, let's dig into some of those things. You come on in here and talk with Randy and the group and get the, your own, you know, excitement built out of this stuff. This is amazing. I'm taking home several things today. Great. Oh, Sounds good. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. A kitchen store with so much more. Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. Clark Salt Lake Express and the airport shuttle have merged and become one. So we still have doorstep service and it's about the same price as it was before. Our focus now is to try to provide as many opportunities for people who, who need to have the ability to get to and from Salt Lake when they want. They don't want to wait at the airport for two hours. They also don't want to be driving around the valley when they get here. And you bring us to a location that leaves on time. We'll have another vehicle take you here to save time comfortably and that main vehicle goes 12 times a day on schedule both leaving the valley and coming back. Hi, I'm Bryce with you and I Furniture in downtown Logan where we have been in business for 80 years. How have we done it? Well, we've had great prices on high quality furniture and we've had great customer service as well. And remember, it's always a better buy at you and I. Love to cook at Kitchen Needs. Here at Kitchen Needs, we want to take care of our customers and give back to those that continually support our store. We come up with the Cooking Up Credit Club for you, and what we're going to do is every time you come in, we're going to put the total before tax in one of these six boxes across the bottom. Once you fill up a card, we're going to give you 10% back in store credit on, on all of your purchases. There's no exclusions. Anything you buy, you're going to get 10% back in store credit. At the end of that, once one of these cards is filled up for you, you're also going to be invited to cooking up club member uh, shopping days that are specific for you. Stop down, we'll tell you all about it and see how you can save more money when you shop here at Kitchen Needs. A kitchen store with so much more Love to cook at Kitchen Needs I'm Ryan Lenhart, owner of My Mattress. I want to take just a second and clear up a minor misconception about what gel mattresses are. Intellibed mattresses are the best mattress you can buy on the market today. This is what it looks like. If you do not see this, this is truly what gel is, nothing different. Here is what people are saying is gel. This is memory foam that has slight speckles of gel infused inside of it. Still simply memory foam. Gel offers the best of both worlds. It says I'm comfortable but I'm extremely supportive. Each body is different. It needs to take the nuances of what you have, sh hips and shoulders, and take it and cradle it. Now while IntelliGel does that and the true gel product does that, memory foam with slight gel speckles inside of it does not do that at all. It's comfortable, it is not great. It's comfortable but not supportive. IntelliBed product. Find it here at My Mattress or find it at any IntelliBed store that we own across the state of Utah. Once you figure out how to speak your kids' language, well, you don't really have to say much at all. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.